Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 22nd episode of this series and today we have Pallav here with us who has been recently placed at Dell as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria given for Dell. So all students belonging to computer science and IT branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Pallav and understand his experience interviewing for Dell. Firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah sure. I am Pallav Gupta. and. I am from the CSC AIML branch. Okay. I recently got placed into Dell and basically my main hobbies include swimming, singing, playing basketball and doing spontaneous stuff. That's pretty much what I like. Okay. Except that my technical background would be more of, uh, I like doing pretty much whatever I have not experienced. Like mm. I have, I have hands on experience in blockchain, web development, machine mm. learning and since because of placement, I've been down in CP a little bit. Right. So, I would suggest um, everyone to try CP just within the second to three years span of their placement. Mm. So that they get a hands on experience over the problems. Mm. And that's pretty much about it. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Sure. So, their placement process was rather medium okay. okay and it was rigorous so they had the rounds of i guess seven rounds oh okay where the first few rounds first round was resume shortlisting they will re shortlist based on your resume mm -hmm. so i suggest everyone to keep like a one page resume mm. and have high should highlight only certain points not everything in detail right now the second round was uh, it's a OA, it was not a coding round, it was a MCQ based round, okay. which was based on DBMS, OS and CN. Hmm. I suggest everyone to go through the core concepts of these. They hmm. can refer to websites like DFG or Take You Forward. Hmm. They, they, are, they helped me revise through the concepts of these topics. Okay. When I, then for the next round, I had the interview rounds. Okay. These included the technical round. They will ask you all around the resume. Mm. Then this is where the TSA comes in. Mm. They will ask you easy to medium problem. Nothing hard will be asked, up, but that entirely depends on your way of handling the interview. Right. So I suggest not to drag a lot about your coding skills mm. and like just in case if you are too overconfident, don't take a gamble. Mm. Then. And then I had a techno. Then I had a techno managerial interview where I had a HR as well as a technical interview. Okay. They again asked for TSA. Hmm. Then for the next round, I had uh, a HR interview. They ask you trick questions like, uh, "Where do you expect yourself in five years?" Mm -hmm. Or um, like, "Where have you have you do you have any plans for higher studies or right. something like that?" Right. So be sure to not fumble there because that's where you will get the guilt of not clearing the interviews. Mm. Then the next part was the HR interview where they again asked me some more tricky questions and work around my daily life. Right. Then my last interview was more of like a welcoming interview there. They just asked me how excited I am to join Dell and that's how I finally Okay. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your experience. Now, do you have any suggestions that uh, you'd like to share for your juniors or anything that you learned from your experience? Yeah, overall, overall, I have been sharing this like constantly with my juniors, but I'll share it again. Hmm. Uh, don't forget DSA. DSA is very important. Hmm. Okay, even if you're starting late, it's hmm. never late. Hmm. Okay, because honestly, I'm not a DSA person. I am a web dev, machine learning guy. Hmm. Okay, I like to create and do stuff rather than you know, solve problems here and there. But however, solving problem had not been my weak weak point, so I was easy. To, I was able to cope up with it. Right. However, some people find it hard to cope up with those problems. Hmm. And I said you to start at an early stage, maybe at end of second year. I think it's good enough. Hmm. But don't forget to enjoy your life because that's very important. Since hmm. this is the placement season, 
and people tend to get stressed out a lot like i've seen myself and my friends sitting around laptop doing nothing just coding revising through problems hmm. doing everything i suggest taking it the easy way going around the topics which are important not going through each and everything and yeah based on based on the expectation i i bring out i should bring out like there's a huge luck factor so in case you don't get placed into certain companies it's fine okay so for example like i had op- options to sit for placements like ion and apple i was able to clear through oa but even after clearing oa i was not shortlisted so i would suggest not to get disheartened by by such facts and should just keep going ahead right that's very really important right and i i basically maintained a notebook for my cp practices hmm. i tried i i had been like, like not too consistent but like at the starting stage of my coding practice i was consistent on code forces and lead code hmm. so i suggest taking both because code forces will help you think a lot out of the box hmm. whereas lead code will help you in dsa and stuff right so i suggest going through all those topics hmm. well beforehand so that you have time for tbms os and cn concepts which hmm. are rather important hmm. and you will mostly forget within your four years hmm. Okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you so much thank you jishnu thank you all for watching if you did like this video if you found this helpful please do like share and subscribe and all the best on your placements thank you all for watching